What's up everybody? This is Whiskey and Six, I'm Rob. Happy Family Day to those of you in Ontario. Because it's Family Day in Ontario, I figured I'd give back to Ontario a little bit by doing a top six best valued whiskeys at the LCBO. I went through this list and I tried to keep everything under $100. I took the global average in Canadian dollars and I took the LCBO price and I chose my favorite six whiskeys that are as close to the global average as possible but also staying within a budget. Number six is the Highland Park 12 year old. You guys have heard me talk about this one a million times before. The global average for this whiskey is about $65 Canadian and often you're getting that at 40%. Whereas at the LCBO, you're getting that whiskey at 43% and it's $69. And every once in a while it goes on sale, which is great. So have a look for that one. That's my number six. Number five is the Avalor Avanat. Now this one is $99 at the LCBO and the global average tends to be around $112 Canadian. So in many places in the US and in other provinces, uh, in the UK and whatnot, you're looking at a higher price for the Avalor or Abana. This is a cast strength whiskey, so you have to like your whiskey with a little higher ABV, but it's $100 and you will not be disappointed. Number four is the Legeg 10 year old. The ABV on this one is 46.3, which is great. It's unchill filtered, no added color. It's got a little bit of peat in it, which is great for the peat lover. Only $70.45 at the LCBO. The global average is about $71, so it's right on par with that. And it's a great whiskey, so I think you guys would really like this one. Number three is the Tyrconnell 16 year old. This one's 46%, it's an Irish whiskey. It's $100, but $120 globally on average. So great buy at the LCBO. Uh, 16 year old whiskey, unchill filter, no added color. It's Irish, which tends to be a little bit higher in price at the LCBO for the most part. So you're getting a steal with this one. Check it out if you haven't already. Number two best bang for your buck whiskey at the LCBO is the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Select. Now the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Select goes for about $59.99 at the LCBO. The global average for this whiskey is $68 Canadian. It goes for around $60 in the US depending on where you're buying it. Some places obviously you're gonna find it for much less. It depends on the state, it depends on the store, but it's a great priced whiskey at the LCBO. It's a great whiskey in my opinion, and it's one of the better American whiskey selections under $70 at the LCBO. Number one is the Deanston Bordeaux cask. That's this one right here. I bought two of them. It's nine years old, but it's cast strength whiskey. It takes a little time to get into the money zone, 58.7%. What makes this one so special is that it's super rare. It's gonna be hard to find. There's not many bottles produced. And the fact that it's $100 at the LCBO and the global, the global average is $100 makes this a great buy. Um, there's not too many whiskeys at the LCBO that are in comparison with the global average. On average, you're looking at whiskeys that are about 20 to even $100 more than you can find them elsewhere um, in the US, in other provinces, and in Europe and the UK. So um, when you find a gem like this, that's a rare bottle, that's only $100, which pretty much is on par with the global average, it's a definite buy. That's why this one's my number one for sure. I wanna just reinforce the fact that all the prices at the LCBO are tax in. Uh, the tax is built into the price. So. The numbers I gave you today as far as LCBO pricing goes is what you're walking away with. No taxes added, that's that's the price. So this one was 100. Um, many of these are great choices. And I'm very confident that if you chose any of those whiskeys, you'd really like them as well and you'd feel happy about the money you spent. That's it for me, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video and you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell too so you get the notifications. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you guys can also check me out on Patreon. Cheers.